right back on the hurricane. Oh yeah. So I've got my uh, special spacer sleeve nut thing. It goes inside this tube. So I'm gonna weld that on there and then that'll go on the other side of that differential mount. And then I can start attaching it to the other pieces. So this side's a little different than the other side because uh, the engine sticks out so much farther, this piece can't go all the way through, obviously. So this one goes all the way through to here and mounts to this shiny bracket that I just made, uh, which has three very sturdy bolts into the engine. So that ought to be pretty strong. The reason this tube ends with a hole there is so that you can stick something through to poke out that bolt. There's a lot of things that I'm kind of leaving for later. Uh, like cross pieces in here, um, you know, will obviously be needed, but I don't know what else may end up going there. You know, maybe I'll put the battery right here or the oil reservoir, who knows what. The point is I'll just keep going with stuff that I know that I need where, or, or want in a specific spot and then, you know, fill in the rest later on. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to take a quick break from the Jeep to talk about the sponsor of this video, Audible. Now Audible has the sweetest deal for you guys yet, and it's really funny because before Audible approached us about this ad, I already made a commitment to listen to two books on Audible a month just because I feel more inspired, I feel like I'm learning, and it's the beginning of a new year and just ready to rock and roll, you know? So what Audible's going to do for you guys, if you listen to three books by March 3rd, you'll get a $20 Amazon gift card, which is awesome considering your first month with Audible is gonna be free because you're gonna sign up using our link in the description. But even if you're already using Audible, if you finish three books by March 3rd, boom, $20 Amazon gift card. It's that easy. But I do have a recommendation for you guys that is total competition. Now this book is super sick because it gives you insight to a part of Formula One that you're not really used to hearing. It's about the engineering, it's about what happens behind the scenes with the deals, with the people who make the rules for the racing, and really if you're running any kind of business or just want to learn more about Formula One, it's a super cool book. You don't even need to necessarily be into Formula One to enjoy it. Now if you guys go to audible.com slash ghpc, you will get 30 days for free, one free audio book, and two free Audible originals. So go check out that link. You could also text GHPC to 500, 500 and get started. And right when I finished, it really started raining. So let's get back in the garage and get building. It's a new day. Yeah, it is. I finally got around to making a new uh, main engine mount bolt here. Cause we didn't have one for that. So I took a piece of, uh, actually it was a piece of a uh, snowmobile drive axle just like that. So it was already hollow. I turned it down to fit inside of this, put some threads on the end, and welded a nut on here for uh, driving it in. So I'm not sure how I'll attach up front here, probably something else will go on there, but for now it's a little snug because uh, not everything's quite perfectly aligned. but. Engine mounted. Yeah, also and it's mounted pretty rigidly too. This oh, is like, yeah. If you, 
the whole table moves now. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very sturdy already. use these two bolts here to for a mount because the mount underneath is kind of impossible to use because of where it is so just added that one and that'll probably also function as a place to bolt the seat on potentially if not it's also a frame stiffener so there's that and now I'm trying to figure out how to make this one work and I've known since the start here that because of where I put it uh, and where it is with it being upside down, there's no space to get a bolt in there. Well, it's not the simplest solution, but we have a rear diff mount bracket now, finally. Uh, I just decided to make the whole bracket removable, so there's just these two nuts welded to the frame nice and solid, and then it just slides on there and bolts in place. So what that means is we can bolt this bracket to the differential before we put the differential in, and it'll just slide in on those frame rails like that and then bolt bolted in place or in the reverse of that you just unbolt this slide the whole diff back and then you'll be able to pull the bolt out so one more element done So she comes out. Yeah, without too much hassle either. I had some brackets tacked to the table. That was the hard part because I couldn't really get Adam to cut them, so I had to just like break them loose. But, and then had to unbolt the hubs here and swing them out to get the axles out. But then the diff comes out of there pretty easily. And then Theory, if we put this on, like that. So then you bolt your bracket on, fish it in. Ta da! Boom! Everything lines up perfect. Yeah. <laughs> We've got them out here. Here, here, and then I'm probably gonna add in one up here on each side as well, using one of these front bolts just to, partly to stiffen the uh, differential and partly to um, stiffen the frame there.
So, exciting days. We finally have a functional front diff. Uh, we got this one off of eBay. It's used, but it's in very nice condition inside. Looks all good and shiny. And it even came with the actuator, which I plugged in and tested, and I got it to shift into four-wheel drive. This is the, just a electronic solenoid that shifts it from four-wheel drive to two-wheel drive, so just engages and disengages this part in here. So, um, we will have to, when I put it in, I'll have to make a little bit of clearance for the uh, solenoid itself. When I built this, it didn't have the solenoid in there, and I did test, I just didn't make a little notch that it needs to clear it, so we'll have to do that. But start by throwing this in there, and then we'll be able to have all four wheels driven, which will be the first time we've seen that. more fancy bungs here. So I'm getting ready to build the removable front brace thing and I'm making a bunch of these super fancy ones. So it's got a hole there for the 12 mil bolt, which apparently I need to enlarge a tiny bit. <laughs> Don't have exactly a 12 millimeter drill bit. Anyway, and then that goes on there and it's one inch in diameter so I can notch the one inch tubing and weld it to it on all four corners and then the whole thing will just unbolt. It will look super cool. The Hurricane's on all fours for the first time with some assists. From the zip ties. And then some zip ties. Ratchet trap on front between the A-arms. We're doing good. Yep. We just, you know, got impatient. We gotta see what it looks like. And yep. Because it's a nice afternoon, we're gonna roll it outside and see what it looks like out there where you can stand back and look at it. Well, that's one zip tie down. <laughs> good thing we put two. It looks good out here. It does. It also looks kind of big. Yeah. It looks like, well, I mean, the tires make it look a lot bigger, but being outside, I don't know, it looks like both bigger and smaller at the same time. Look at those drive shafts. Yeah. Vroom, vroom, vroom. This thing's gonna be so sick. What do you think? I think it's gonna be perfect. Look how much room there is. I mean, we don't have the body on here, but like, you know, your feet, your feet could go all the way down there. Yeah. If I were to sit, even if I sit farther forward in case we need room for a radiator and whatnot back there, still it's like, feet could go down here, more or less, about like that. Yes. Um, steering wheel. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be awesome. And it's got a lot of ground clearance. What's the next step for next week's video? Uh, lots of different things. Um, we're gonna work on trying to get some steering happening, um, at least part of it. And 
Then other than that, just all sorts of different things, you know, maybe some shock mounts, finish up this front piece and uh, just keep moving forward with all the, you know, little things. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's all one piece now, but there's so much that still needs to happen. Like also mounting the body might be a next step too, or making a way for it to mount because right now this is super cool, but the body has no way to attach to it whatsoever. Yeah. So that'll be something to think about as well. And then, you know, we gotta think about radiator and steering and shock mounts. And then sometime soon we need to think about getting this engine running, <laughs> mm -hmm. which is gonna be no easy task because there is a lot of electronics on it. So yeah. we're working on some solutions for that while we uh, keep going on everything else. Mm -hmm.